So my name is Jeff Nagel. I'm an operating partner at AEA Investors, a private equity fund based out of Manhattan. And a good friend of mine, Dennis Schuler, who was on the board here, asked me if I wouldn't come and give a talk at the, at the business school here. So I'm an operating partner, as you mentioned, at, at AEA Investors. And for operating partners, that means we've come up through running companies as opposed to up through the finance track. So I spent 30 years of my career running businesses, starting off in management consulting, then doing a few startups. Then I was with General Electric for 13 years and ran a series of industrial and service businesses. Then I went to run a uh, business called Nature's Bounty for Carlisle as another private equity fund. And after that, I joined AEA Investors as a private equity operating partner. You know, the working overseas was a fantastic experience, both for myself and for my family. When we moved to Germany, the kids were aged two to six, or four, we have four children. And it was a really eye-opening experience to live in a completely different culture. And I was traveling all the time and my wife was alone. It was <laughs> a lot of stress. And then we moved from Germany to Italy. And I think the great thing about being able to work overseas is you get a chance to see what is truly just cultural, where a whole bunch of other people that all seem to be pretty normal and nice do things a different way and it causes you to actually ask yourself, huh, why do we do it that way? And you get to pick and choose amongst things that you really like, like I really love German cars and I really like Italian wine and coffee, so. Philanthropy I co-founded is called Be Local and I did it with my wife and a buddy of mine from engineering school undergraduate. And the whole point of Be Local is driving what I would call everyday innovations into the developing world or lower income areas where the intent is to have pretty basic innovations but ones that will make everything from food gathering and processing to transportation to shelter incrementally better but done in a way that means that those inventions or devices are going to be owned, cared for, and maintained by the local population. I think what we've found is that people are really bright all over the world. They don't all have the same opportunities, but we wanted to build a philanthropy that was based on this idea that they would take the ideas, develop them alongside with us, leverage the crowd that we had globally to bring ideas to them, but ultimately that the devices were theirs, the ability to market them, Theirs or use them are theirs. You know, and just generally on the question of why it's so important to give back. I think in the end, one of the things that the world uh, has benefited a ton from over time is community, is the ability to share and work together toward a common goal. But I think it's also something that in our current age has been lost a little bit. And in the end, philanthropy is about understanding that you're connected to something bigger than yourself and wanting to make a difference in other people's lives, not just your own. You know, I think the advice I'll give is the same as a talk I was talking about this afternoon. The first piece of advice I'd give is that everything you hear about other successful people seems to sound like they did really well and they just kept doing better and better and better or well you know they hit a rough patch and then they pulled it all together and they did really well and in reality most people's careers inside or outside have ups and downs in them and then times when they're in a really difficult position and don't know how they're going to get out or times when they outright failed and they had to pick themselves back up and the most important thing you can do if you want to ultimately have a long-term career and be successful is to never give up, never allow yourself to succumb to this idea that things are so tough they're not gonna get better. Because more or less good luck and bad luck is pretty normally distributed, so you've gotta keep going. But the second thing that I would say is that truly understanding yourself as, a, as an employee, as a worker, as a leader, as a team member, as a family member and a community member is so critical and it takes time. It's not the kind of thing that you can go out 
and do wants to take your assessment test and be done. It's a peeling back the onion layers and you've got to understand yourself better and better over time so that you can really know how best you can make a contribution and where you need to improve and you need to get feedback to help you improve. But development is a long-term journey and you need to go after it if you're really going to make the most out of your life and make the biggest contribution.